Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having issues with your time zone settings being grayed out on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to enable location services if they are not currently enabled. In order to do that, all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for settings. Best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select privacy and security. And then on the right side, you want to locate where it says app permissions. And go down there and select location. You want to turn location services on and then select let apps access your location. And then once you're done with that, you will need to close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully the issue should have been resolved if you attempt to go back in and modify your time zone settings. If you're still having a problem, we can go into the registry editor and manually change it in there. So we can open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder, so double click on that. Go down to current control set and double click on that folder as well. And there should be a services folder, double click on it. And then finally there should be a TZ auto update folder in here. So you could just scroll down the list or you can click on a random folder and just start typing in TZ auto update. It takes us to this key right here. Please take note of our file path up at the top of the window here. Each bank slash is a different sub key that we went under to get to this point. So now on the right side, you want to locate the start D word value, so double click on it. So if you want to set time zone automatically, you want to delete whatever numbers in here. It's probably a four. Type the number three, and then you would select OK. If you wanted to disable setting time zones automatically, you would delete the three and type the number four, and then select OK. Again, 3 would set the time zone automatically, and 4 would set it to manual, or really it would disable this feature. So, pretty straightforward. You would need to restart your computer for the change to take effect, however, no matter what option you selected. So, let's go ahead and close out of here and restart our computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do allow us able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.